Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video that's not really related to School Idol Festival, but it's related to a Love Live game called Puchiguru Love Live that came out around last year. And unfortunately, Puchiguru Love Live will be ending its services in May. Now, there's like a lot of questions that are popping up, so hopefully I can answer some of these things. First of all, if you check the notice here, if you actually play the game, you can access the notices here. And then it's this one here that says, um, service termination. It's gonna end services in May of 2019, so, you know, in the next two months, on the 31st. As of today, when the app updated, it's no longer possible to buy the jewels, which is like the premium currency in this game. So that's pretty standard practice whenever a gacha mobile game kind of decides to shut down. They have to give this prior notice and then they have to like remove access to purchasing things in game for the next few months until the game is finally like terminated and then removed from the app store and all the services are gone. So uh, one of the things I do want to mention is that the company that does Puchiguru Love Live is not K-Lab, it's Poke Labo, and hopefully that will alleviate your concerns that, oh, maybe if this game is shutting down, then what's gonna happen to School Idol Festival? Well, don't worry about that, because School Idol Festival is owned by K-Lab. It's a completely different company from the one that does Puchiguru, so School Idol Festival will function and continue to exist for the time being, and Another thing is that, does this have any kind of implications for, like, School Idol Festival? And I believe the answer is no, just because a different Love Live game is shutting down. That doesn't necessarily mean that all the Love Live games are shutting down. We are anticipating All Stars, and when All Stars was announced, they, would, they mentioned compatibility or some sort of transfer potential from School Idol Festival, so it'd be rather foolish for them to end School Idol Festival anytime soon. And the last thing I guess I want to talk about is this game itself. Like, why exactly did it only survive for a year? Now, in my personal opinion, it's just... This is one of those games that are kind of... Hmm, the, the, the nicest way of putting it is... Casual. And I know, like, School Idol Festival could be considered casual compared to, like, a whole bunch of different, uh, like, much more, um, like, intense mobile games. But this is, like, textbook definition of casual. It's, it's most similar to a game like Disney Zoom Zoom, where you just turn off your brain and then press things on the screen and then cute stuff happens. There doesn't seem to be, like, a high skill ceiling or any kind of incentive to spend money on this game for the most part. So it's not a big surprise that the game only survived for a year. It's kind of similar to a lot of things. I guess a good comparison is maybe like, if you remember, Glee Forever, which was like um, K-Lab America's attempt to make like a school idol festival type game. And that only lasted for a year or two. And I guess the main reason why they have like these, uh, we're gonna try it for a year and then stop, is because of licensing and then trying to, you know, renew the license. So if you want to have some sort of IP represented in your game, you have to obtain the appropriate licenses, the legal stuff. School Idol Festival has been doing that for many years. Uh, they're profitable enough to keep renewing the Love Live license, so you don't have to worry about that. For Puchiguru, uh, it's not really a game that makes a lot of money. If you check like top grossing on the App Store or the Google Play Store, you rarely see this game like in the top 100s or 200s compared to like stuff that's more popular like the School Idol Festival on Japan, uh, Idol Master, and Dream. All those series uh, make a lot of money from their gacha and the ways they monetize things. This game is just too casual and it's just kind of like expected. I wouldn't really say disappointing. It's not indicative of saying, oh, Love Live is declining in popularity because Puchiguru is shutting down. It's just mainly that this game wasn't really meant to last that long. It was kind of like a nice side project to kind of hype people up for, you know, more Love Live things. And now that 
you know, the Love Live is moving into like a new direction. We're all waiting for All Stars. It's kind of, kind of time to let this game set sail <laughs> to the graveyard of dead mobile games. But yeah, um, I'd like to hear from you guys if you actually played Pucha Guru Love Live or what you think about all this. Uh, personally, this, again, is a game that's I don't really like playing because it's kind of brain dead. I like my games that have some sort of semblance of skill. So rhythm games are kind of in that alley. Uh, you have to practice over and over again to get good at the songs. With, with this game, it's just very RNG dependent. So even if you're like, oh, I'm the greatest Zoom Zoom player of all time, um, you're just gonna get... Like, sometimes it's just not gonna be good because it's all RNG, so... I'm not saying it's a bad game, it's just not the type of game for me, and it's probably not the type of game for most of the Love Live player base. Since, um, I believe the Love Live demographic is more towards, like, late teens, early adults, that kind of thing. So, this type of game is really just catered towards, like, kids. That's why, like, Zoom Zoom is very popular. It's it's based on Disney characters, of course, and then they just mindlessly tap the screen, and then cute things happen. So then, this game kind of tries to mimic that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's just a notice. In case you were thinking that the shutdown of Pooch Guru was some sort of early April Fool's joke, it's not, it's happening, and, it, and it's unfortunate, but that's just the way the life cycle of these games kind of go. It's just unfortunate that it's like a Love Live game. The only other Love Live game that's on mobile, aside from School Idol Festival, shutting down. I don't want people to like, worry about School Idol Festival just because like another game, like another Love Live game, is getting shut down because of lack of profitability. School Idol Festival still makes a lot of money. As long as they keep releasing cards, it'll, it'll do pretty okay. And we're all just waiting for All-Stars, and I don't know how many times I said it in this video, but we're all waiting for All-Stars, so you better fucking give us a release date! I can't take it anymore!